Hey guys, Darcy here, and today we're gonna talk about MIDI quantization. Let's get into it. All right, so we're in Luna here. We got a basically a MIDI loop pulled up. Um, first, let's take a listen to this so we know what we're working with as a baseline, and then we're going to do you know the quantization of this. So let's hit play. get the general idea. This is not one that I compose, it's just one that I'm using for this demonstration. So first thing you'll notice that we're in the clip view mode, which means that basically we could drag this around and make edits like an audio track, but we're, we can't actually manipulate the actual MIDI. So if we go over to here, it says view and hit clips, we can actually select notes. Another fast way that I use is just hitting the minus key on your keyboard and that toggles uh, you back to the clip view into the note view. Uh, and that's my preferred way because it's just super fast. So now that we have the notes open, to actually get to MIDI quantization, what we're going to do is on this clip, you hit this Q over here. And then this will bring up your quantization for this particular clip itself. If you had multiple clips that were broken up, then you would quantize each one of them individually. And you can quantize down to the note as you would expect by selecting the notes. So let's first here, we can do a command A to select everything. And then we're going to actually apply some quantization. And you'll notice that we have swing and strength and auto apply um, and so we're going to bring the, the, this up to 100% for the strength and then we're going to start actually going through the quantization and seeing what it does some of it's going to be pretty obvious so we'll go to a bar that brings everything to the bar then we'll go to a half and it brings everything to a half and as we continue to go through here, we'll see that we get different amounts of strength of this. And then we can go back to off, and then everything will be slightly back off the grid. And if you, that was hard to see, we'll go over to 164, and you'll see how tight it is in comparison to off. One thing you may notice, depending on what DAW you've used, you may come across this before, is that as you apply this, it doesn't apply the settings compounded, meaning that some DAWs, when you apply your quantization, whatever the value is when it ends, that's like the new position for those MIDI notes. And then when you apply new quantization, it applies it from that position forward. With Luna, it actually takes the original place in which you played it or the last place in terms of your editing. So if I were to physically move a note, that physical move of the note now considers it to be that point in which it would quantize against. I'm going to command Z that. So if I go half of a note or right half a bar and then select away and then come back to this and I go, you know what? No, I prefer this be 16th. It will go back into position. It does not compound better. So let's hit play and just kind of hear what some of this stuff does. We'll take this to off. So obviously they got pretty jumbled, but the thing that I like about this is that you get the ability to kind of keep doing this in real time. You get the confidence that it's not going to compound your changes. You can keep experimenting until you kind of get something you like. Obviously you wouldn't start at a, at a whole note and then, you know, go from there. But, you know, you get that, that kind of flexibility uh, to, to make those kinds of changes. Anyways, hope you found this helpful. If you did, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, have yourself a good day and I'm out. Peace, y'all. <laughs>